So now if I look at the patient table, I've got a few things already kind of lined up. Uh, but you know, if we look at it, uh, who has a fax these days, really? Um, and county notes, uh, you know, I, there are some things I don't need. So what I actually want to do is one of the things that we had when we kind of downloaded all of our files was a patient.txt file. Now that patient.txt file, if you look at it, it looks like this and this looks confusing and weird and scary. Now, the idea is, well, all of this data is actually what I'm going to want to put into this database. And if you see, I've got sort of a patient ID, if we can kind of sync these up, uh, title, I don't need a title, I do need my last name, that's actually kind of what Darcy and Mendez is referring to, Edward and uh, Andres, uh, that's my first name. Then we get a date of birth. Okay, makes sense. Everyone apparently is born at midnight, uh, believe it or not. Uh, then we've got our phone number, good. But then we start dealing with our address, not our phone number. Our phone number is actually kind of far away. And again, I don't have uh, fax, county, or notes. So I do need to make a few changes. The first is I need to get rid of fax, county, and notes. To do that, all I have to do is mouse over. You notice I get a little kind of black arrow pointing downward. If I click on that, that highlights an individual field. What that allows for me to do is right click and I can select to delete the field. And that gets rid of it. If I want to do more than one field, this time county, hold, drag, notes, right click, delete, field. That allows me to do two at a time. I'm going to keep on going with this, but this time I'm going to actually click on email. The reason why is I don't want to delete email, but if we look at that patient table again, I need to include sort of the street address, the city, the state, and a zip code. So I got a few things I need to add in. To do that, I'm going to head over to my fields tab. Now my fields tab, this allows me to insert these things. And you can see I can actually add my fields and delete my fields from here as well. Uh, but I don't want to just select a generic type, you know, because we're dealing with an address. Again, uh, street address, city, state, zip code. I've already got, you know, those four things kind of, they're always going to be the same no matter what. And what's lovely about that is Access kind of already has that in place. You notice we have that More Fields button. And if I click on that, I get a few different options that I can select from. Down here at the bottom, you should see that I have a Quick Start section. And if I select that, you're going to notice that what happens is right after phone, right before email, I get address, city, state, province, zip, postal, and country region. Well, we're just going to assume that you know, nobody from the UK is going to come to this urgent care in America. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of at least that uh, country region. Delete. Now I am going to do a few other things. I'm going to go ahead and change state and province. I don't like the fact that it's, uh, well, state province. Uh, I want to just say state. Notice I have the property section here as well. Just like when we were dealing with the table design, I have it here as well. I have name and caption. If I click on this, I can actually change what its name is. I'm going to change it from state province to just state, and I'm going to get rid of province again. I'm going to hit OK. Now the other thing is, if we're looking at states, if we're thinking about a database, the reason why we have something like field size is to limit how big it is, uh, how much data can go in there. If we take a look, every single one of these states well, they're all going to be CT, but the main focus is they're all going to be two characters. So it actually, it seems very wasteful for me to have 255 spaces allocated for what will always be two letters. You know, NC, SC, NY, CT. So I'm going to just change my field size from 255 to 2. Now, again, I'm going to come over here to my zip postal, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go ahead and change it from zip postal to just zip zip, just to clean it up a little bit more. So now that I've got this kind of lined up, again, I don't need my title, because uh, if I look at my uh, patient table again, I've got ID, last name, first name, date of birth. So 
ID, not last name, last name, first name, date of birth. I'm going to go ahead and select delete title. All right, double check it again. Date of birth, check. Phone number, check. Address, check. City, check. State, check. Zip, check. Email, check. All right, so now I need to import my data in. To do this, we head back to our external data section. And you see we get a number of different options. Now, one of the things to kind of take note of with that patient file, notice how everything is sort of with quotes and it has commas everywhere. This is known as a comma separated value file. And it's exactly that. It's just a bunch of text. It's a bunch of data separated by commas. We're going to go ahead and actually import that. Now, it's a TXT file, which means it's a text file, which means we would select this text file option, which is going to bring me a dialog box menu. From here, I'm just going to go to Browse. I'm going to look for my patient.txt file. And when I select Open, the first thing I need to do is I need to pause and look at what I'm doing. What am I saying? import the source data to a new table? No, I don't want a new table. I just designed this table. I just designed patient. So I want to append a copy of the records to the patient table. I then hit OK. The table you are currently trying to append is currently open and must be closed before proceeding. Do you want to save the changes and close the table? Yes, I do, because I want to import my data. That closes out a patient. You see, again, because we're dealing with a comma separated uh, file, what we introduce is something known as the delimiter. The delimiter basically is what is separating my data from my other data. That's actually what this comma is. And if I go ahead and hit next, you can see it will let me specify what it is. If I said it was tab, all right, well, nothing happens. If I say it was a semicolon, nothing happens. If I change it to a space, I get a weird little hodgepodge where it's basically wherever I saw a space. If I specified it as my quotations, I'd get a weird set as well. Or when I do comma, it separates everything out into individual rows. I click next. That's all I have to do for my uh, wizard, so as soon as I hit finish, do you want to save your steps? No, we don't need to save our steps. But as soon as we open up import errors, oh, our phone was not the same, so we do need to change that. All right, so let's close out of this. That is if we come back over here. Notice what phone is. Let's actually click on the fields tab. The fields tab right now says that my data type for phone is a number, a number. So I got a lot of stuff I got to do. The first thing is I actually have to delete everything, which sucks, I know. We select everything, delete record. You're about to delete 49 records. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes, I am. I need to change my phone number from a number because if we looked at it again, where are you? Those dashes right there, those dashes are not something you do with numbers. Those are, again, I'm not trying to do subtraction. I'm just trying to have dashes in my number. So I need to change this from number to short text. Now, when we go to import our data, text file, select patient, open, append to patient, OK. Everything looks in order. When we hit finish this time, Notice we don't get any more errors to pop up. This doesn't matter anymore, but take a look at my patient data. Now you're saying to yourself, okay, well, how do I get rid of this guy? Well, I can just right click on him and you see I get a number of options. I can delete him. You can't delete it because it's open. Again, Excel is or access is always very, very fickle. It doesn't want you to be able to do a lot of things all the time. Delete. Boom. Oh.